everyone, Jason here. Canada Day is coming up and this year is pretty special as we are celebrating the 150th anniversary of our country's confederation. So to mark the occasion, I decided to build our national animal, the cute and industrious beaver. Of course, I wanted to incorporate some motion into this model. Beavers are known for using their teeth to cut down trees, to build their lodges and dams. So I definitely wanted to add some teeth chomping to the model. They are also known for slapping the water with their tail, which is quite loud. And they do that to warn other beavers in the area of nearby danger. Both of those motions can be driven by a single crank. You can insert into the side of the model. And if you just want to display the model statically, you can remove the crank and cover up the Technic brick with this panel. So how does it all work? Here I have a cutaway model to show you the mechanics and I'm just going to disassemble it a bit. First, the tail is built onto the back of these bent lift arms which are hinged where they bend so that if you push down on the front, the back will lift up. Now let's reassemble the rest of this. When you insert the crank, it engages with this drive shaft at the end of which is a one by two lift arm that acts as a cam on the tail. Every time the lift arm comes around, it pushes down on the front of the tail, causing the back of the tail to rise. Now it only engages the tail for about a quarter of the rotation of the drive shaft so that as it continues to come around, it essentially releases the tail so the gravity can pull it back down to slap on the table. The drive shaft also acts as a crankshaft, driving the red lift arm as a piston, which is connected to the jaw assembly. The jaw assembly is hinged in the middle, so that as the piston drives the back of it up and down, the front will move in the opposite direction, giving us a nice chomping of the teeth. You can also easily add a power functions motor to the side, which will turn it into pretty much the most annoying model ever. I would definitely recommend putting something underneath the tail to dampen the slapping sound if you do that. Even some folded piece of paper is pretty effective. I have put together building instructions for this model. If you would like to try and build it yourself, you can find those over at jkbrickworks.com as usual. I had a lot of fun building it and driving Crystal a little bit crazy with all the tail slapping. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I will see you next time.